technique wise, when you watch them, it looks like they are trying to leather the ball as hard as they possibly can. It is about swing speed and power. Oh, most definitely. I mean, if you come out here and you try to swing smooth, I don't care if you're Joe Miller, you're going after it. Uh, you can go out and swing smooth if you want. I guarantee you that you will lose. Uh, at the end of the day, it's literally more about ball speed. Swing speed is definitely an important thing. Swing speed gives you the ability to have a high ball speed. Uh, nine times out of 10, the average guy who plays golf is probably around 80 miles an hour to 90. And their ball speeds are about 130 to 140s, maybe even 150. When you look at a long drive competitor, our swing speeds are the same amount as the average guy's ball speed so our ball speeds are absolutely grossly 70 probably 70 miles an hour faster than the average guy it's insane and when you watch as well that, that there's an overswing it is literally i mean i've seen some people get the club around the back of their ankles before addressing the ball as well yeah i mean it's it's definitely a beauty it's almost like watching any other artistic thing whether it be ballet or things like that it's definitely a beautiful balance of controlled chaos so when you look at it if you look at joe probably is one of the best people to look at it when you look at his swing his feet are all over the place but he has perfect positions at the top where his weight's on his right side and then he gets to the ball and absolutely nothing's on the ground he levitates off the ground and then he comes back and finishes somewhat in a controlled finish so when you look at those things it's Everybody talks about balance and control in your golf swing. In long drive, you do have to have balance and you do have to have control, but it's in certain fragments. It's never in one fluid motion of control and stability.